Hey everyone, Zell here, and today we're back in Destiny and we're going to be looking at an exotic scout rifle called the Mida Multi-Tool, and it is here on my back right here, and I actually find this gun very, very fun for what it offers, so let's get right into it, taking a look at the flavor text, and here it is, and it says, select application, ballistic engagement, entrenching tool, avionics, trawl, troll smashers, stellar sextant, list continues. So this is a jack of all trades, it's good for a lot of different things. And I actually find that it fits into your arsenal very well if you're lacking in certain departments, which is how I use it primarily. So let's take a look at what it has. I don't have it fully upgraded damage-wise, but if we look at the stats, the stability is really nice. The reload speed is maxed out, and everything else is rather equal and not that bad for a scout rifle. So getting into the first tier of upgrades, we have soft ballistics, less recoil, penalty to impact. CQB Ballistics, Greatly Reduced Recoil, Significant Penalty to Range, and Smart Drift Control, Predictable and Controllable Recoil, Penalty to Range. Then we have Third Eye, Radar Stays Active While Aiming Down This Weapon's Sights. Then we have a Damage Upgrade. Second tier, we have Lightweight, When Held, This Weapon Grants Plus Two Character Agility. We have Quick Draw, This Weapon Can Be Drawn Unbelievably Fast, and Field Scout. Maximum ammo capacity is increased. And finally, we have the Mida Multi-Tool. This weapon boosts move speed and fires on a hair trigger. Everything after that is damage upgrade. So let's see how this weapon works with other things and figure out what's going on here. Now, in a lot of other videos, I pick up Field Scout almost all the time. And if we look at what Field Scout does here, it increases the magazine from 21 to 26. It's not that big of a thing. But also... Look at the reload speed on this. You don't need extra magazine. Magazine is good for a really slow reloading weapon or something that doesn't have that many shots or you just want to get your best buck out of it, you know? But with this weapon, you don't need to worry about that because it reloads amazingly quick. It's rather dumb. <laughs> and then you have also with this, this weapon boosts move speed and then we have agility which, which boosts move speed even further. So. This gun allows your character to move very quickly, and how I use it on my Warlock, and it might pre pretty much be my main gun on my Warlock when I'm doing PvP, which is my PvP class nowadays, is when you're looking at what I have for my Warlock, I have heavy armor, decent recovery, and low agility, because I want to get the arm on my Warlock, because I don't run a Rebirth Warlock, Fireborn Warlock, I don't do that on my Sunsinger. I actually do Radiant Skin, which makes it so I take less damage and also it lasts longer. So I, I'm pretty much a tanky character that's focusing on, per, like, uh, not precision, but based on position with Angel of Light, I can still aim and everything while in air and all that good stuff. And what I'm lacking is a lot of agility, and I could get it there, but it completely nerfs my armor and recovery, so I decided to stick with what I have. So with that extra movement speed, this works really well. And to give you an idea of how this works, let's find some enemies and go kill them, shall we? So first off, if you don't know how Angel of Light works, did I just hit a wall? I felt like I just hit a wall. That was weird. But if you don't know how Angel of Light works, when you're running to uh, aim and then you do that, you have full 100% accuracy while in the air. And you don't get that stupid landing bonus you land softer with it so both of those things are really nice for what this provides and also it shoots amazingly fast so taking a look at it like this is just you can hear the shots right there it it shoots really quickly it shoots very quickly and it just works really well I like it you get a lot of different shots going off, and to just take a look specifically at the rate of fire on this weapon, it's on a hair trigger, so that means you don't have to pull down as quickly, which means you can fire shots off quicker. But let's find a soft... There we go. Like, check this out. See how quickly that shoots? That's remarkably quick for shooting, and also the reload right there is amazing. Just, just saying, that reload is absolutely amazing. And that's what highlights this gun, and I find that it's a very good exotic for a primary. It might not add a ton of different effects or anything like that, but it really works well with your character, and sometimes you don't need exotics in your other slots, like your special, say if you don't need an icebreaker, 
or you don't need your Gallowhorn and you're just doing basic stuff, you can use this really effectively in your character build, I find. And especially for PvP, where sometimes those other slots don't really need good exotics. Usually when I go PvP, I bring an exotic primary in anyways, because it seems to do more for me, it's what I'm using more often. And with that amazing reload right there, like, how can you give that up, you know? So that's my review on the Mida Multi-Tool. I do hope you enjoy it. And if you have any other ways you use this gun or any other builds you use it on, let me know. And as always, please rate, comment, subscribe. And if you do subscribe, be ready for more daily Destiny content, be it on exotics, legendaries, cool little things in the game. And I'm going to be going really hard when Crota Zen comes out. So get ready for that. And of course, if you did like the video, please throw a like on the video because it supports what I'm doing here for you guys. And I greatly appreciate that. And with that, I'm going to get out of here, have my Thanksgiving. So catch you later, guys. See ya.